Time to learn it has helped a lot, not only the young ones, but even the parents as well. Because our young ones now, we know that they will be better readers, because without learning, they can't be a better person. But through school, we know most of them, if they end up even up to university, even college, that would be because of the, where the starting point is. Because the benefits which, are, which we have learned from the uh, time to learn. It really assisted our young ones to understand what they're supposed to do in life. <laughs> Time to Learn is a USAID uh, funded project here in Zambia that began in 2012 and will officially culminate in early 2017. It is a project that works in collaboration with the Ministry of General Education here in Zambia, um, but is managed by the Education Development Center, which is, which is a US-based international non-governmental organization. Our project really has two areas or two focuses or foci. Um, one is the support we provide to community schools in six provinces, specifically Southern, Lusaka, Central, Copper Belt, Eastern, and Muchinga. And that work, again, focuses on uh, supporting reading in local language in those six provinces, roughly talking about 58 districts altogether and more than 2,300 community schools that we support directly. The first component of the project sought to empower the community school using a series of trainings and support in six provinces. The teaching of literacy is not something that people should fantasize about. It is something that a teacher must understand. To know how to read, a child needed to have certain skills. And these five skills, I saw them coming out in these trainings. Phonemic awareness, phonics, fluency, you know, comprehension, reading and the writing. Before I started teaching, I didn't know about the sounds. So after attending the workshops, it was easy for me to teach the learners how to read and write from those sounds that we were learning. Time to Learn has really helped to awaken the teachers who were maybe uh, having that laissez-faire uh, attitude in their work. At least they've also woken up. Committed to empower communities even further beyond the trainings, the Time to Learn project working with the Directorate of Teacher Education and Specialized Services, TESS, under the Ministry of General Education, produced Zambia's first ever teacher competency framework. Specifically the competence framework that we uh, worked on together with the, or in collaboration with Time to Learn is actually meant to be for a community schools, although it can actually be extended to any level of a teacher. This competence framework is actually meant to guide teachers throughout their life, the career lifetime. A major and innovative part of the reading program package introduced by Time to Learn is the ICT-mediated training using mobile phones and tablet-based reading resources to support teachers in reading instruction. These gadgets were issued to, to the teachers and they proved to be very, very useful on uh, teaching skills. And for example, uh, if there's a topic that the teacher would like to teach, how should the teacher introduce the topic? What should the teacher do? And uh, how does the teacher develop the, the lesson and so on and so forth? More than 2,200 mobile phones were distributed to all community schools that attended Time to Learn trainings. The tablet-based learning platform was used to pilot a local language literacy program called Vernacular to Learners in 30 community schools in Lusaka province. Another innovative component that was introduced under the Time to Learn project was eEGRA, an electronic version of USAID's paper-based early grade reading assessment. This tool is important because it gives immediate feedback and it is also a diagnostic tool because while the teachers are teaching, they can be able to 
uh, to assess the children, know where the children are behind and where they need to, to improve. Time to Learn's support to community schools would not be complete without extending its partnership to the community, in particular, the learners' parents. It is very important for, for parents to know that um, they have a huge role to play in the education of their children. Research has shown that children who are read to or who read to another person on a daily basis have a better probability or a higher probability of success in school because reading is a foundational um, skill that, that children need to learn. Time to Learn has provided more than 48,000 scholarships to secondary school learners from their entry into grade 8 five years ago and will see them complete grade 12 this year. Uh, two weeks before the exams, my mom died. Before she died, she told me that uh, you know how you know how I raise money, so you can take over. So uh, the way uh, people they encourage me. No, you have to carry on. As you can see, the mom she has already done her part. Now it's your turn. Uh, after that, uh, I wrote uh, the exams, and I I was the highest. I was I was happy because uh, I passed uh, the exams, but. Uh, because there's only one thing which was uh, disturbing. And how am I going to pay the, the school fees? So it was a big challenge for me. We are supporting both uh, boys and girls. Uh, of course, with 60% of the beneficiaries being uh, girls and 40% uh, being uh, uh, boys. So those are the children that are basically on the Time to Learn scholarship program. We also focus on providing a wraparound support to the um, scholarship recipients. Besides just providing the school going cost, you need to address any issues related to the welfare of the children. Then the wraparound support. So that when you provide the, the financial support and then you provide the emotional support, then you can contribute towards ensuring that you improve the learning outcome. They kind of also introduced this study groups. So before, because you don't really have tuition money and all that, and you don't know where to get extra information from. With the introduction of that, you get to study in groups, you learn, you're tutored by peers, and also, speaking of peer teaching, they, they've brought the Safe Club, so we get to be a part of it. You learn about self-esteem, self-awareness, assertiveness, and other extracurricular activities and more. Through the years, time to learn has sought to strengthen governance and coordination of research in universities by involving multiple stakeholders to promote educational opportunities for orphans and vulnerable children. Time to Learn has helped us to achieve one goal that UNSA has, because UNSA has three agendas, to teach, to offer service to the community, and do research. So with Time to Learn, we have acquired almost a component of the three. Time to Learn has also extended its reach by becoming a platform for university graduates to gain work experience. Jobs are hard to come by in Zambia and this has given me great experience such that even when I apply for a job now I'm confident that I do qualify to work for whatever organization because of the exposure that I have been given here. The Time to Learn project has even gone further to partner with organizations in the private sector because investing in education makes business sense. The private sector has a big stake in, in, in the education of children in Zambia. We tell them that the students of today are the workers of tomorrow. 
As the Time to Learn project culminates, it is evident that it has been an initiative that has contributed to the Ministry of General Education's efforts to meet national goals. Learners are able to read and write. And because of these same programs, if these programs that came from Time to Learn, they were not there, you know, even these other primary schools, they have negative attitude towards these so-called community schools. But now here in Kamunza, I'll tell you, learners are able to speak fluent Chitonga. They are able also to speak fluent English. We are standing tall and proud that we have contributed to this country's you know, retention of vulnerable learners within the education system. Sure, I just had to take the opportunity and I grabbed it and it has really been helpful. Uh, now, I don't really have to worry about school fees because that's taken care of. All I have to do is just focus on studying and getting good grades, so really grateful. They acted as the bridge to me as well as uh, others because without them, I don't think it may be it would have been possible for me to see secondary level. I want to become a doctor. I want to do journalism, uh, law and economics. I would like to be a nurse. I want to be a doctor actually. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a lawyer. I really want to be a lawyer. My plans are to become a doctor, specific for the women to do OBS and guy. My career, I want to become an engineer. Because despite of what, what, what has happened, it can't stop me from to become what I want. <laughs>